Copes, uh, who would have thought that we'd ever be sitting in a hotel room in Las Vegas talking about uh, trying to put together a, a team for the Sydney Kings? We've come a long way, my friend. Not in a million years. I think it's great, though, Drew. I'm excited about the season. Um, I remember talking to you about it in the beginning, and um, now things are starting to happen, and, and I can't sleep. You know, I'm, I'm very excited about it. I can't wait until it goes. Really looking forward to that first day of practice where we get our full squad together. It's going to take some time because there's been good, some, some really good news uh, recently that Kevin Lish is in the Australian team, and uh, he's one of the major signings in the offseason. But also the fact that uh, Alex Marich might also be part of the team as well. So we're down a few, but we couldn't be proud of our boys. Yeah, when, when we recognised these guys at the beginning of the season, we knew they were, they were talented. And uh, to have, have these guys on our team makes it that more exciting. Um, and I think the league is excited about having these guys play as well. So, No doubt about that. And uh, what about we're here in Vegas, the NBA Summer League, uh, trying to identify some talent. We've got two Wimport spots available. What do you make of the talent that's running around and how successful can we be over the next couple of days to, to get a couple of them to join the Sydney Kings? Well, it's probably more pressure on you than me because <laughs> you are that's, the head coach. That's true. <laughs> Um, but there's a lot of talent. It's harder than you think because you see this, these many pe people playing and these many guys running up and down. Um, you don't know what to – it's like being in a candy store. You don't know what to pick. Um, you want this guy and you want that guy, but this guy is better than that guy. So <laughs> it's, it's very difficult, but it's exciting. It does help us, you know, with our experience from the playing days and knowing when you're dealing with agents that uh, – of some of the pitfalls that can be associated uh, with that. But – what primarily do you think that we need in, from our imports? What do you th I pretty much know what we're looking for, but I'd be interested to hear what you think we should be looking for in an import player. Well, it's pretty tough to get a guy like myself. Uh, you, need a, you probably need a Lenar Copeland, but it's not a lot of those guys floating around. But you need a guy who's very athletic, a guy who can put the ball in the hole, but a good person as well, a guy off the floor, uh, off the floor that handles his business and does the right thing.